I would say I'm not scared. The height is always on my mind, but it's more focus and just thinking about what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, where my hands are, where the silk is. When Amy Newman signed up for aerial silks at the Toronto Circus School, climbing to the top seemed impossible. I started out pretty much laying on the ground, rolling around, stretching out my arms all the time, so sore. I'd wake up with claws in the morning from squeezing the silk so hard. As you can see, a lot has changed since then. She works really hard at uh, developing all the different components of strength as well because it's not just one direction of strength. You have to be able to pull, push, uh, lift, shift in so many different ways and Amy does all of that with grace and ease. Amy's not only strong, she's fast. She can climb up this 38 foot silk and then slide back down it in 27 seconds. She makes it look so easy. I decided to try it out. Try to smile. <laughs> I feel like I'm holding on for dear life. And here comes my Good. graceful landing. <laughs> Sorry. That's oh. okay. Stand up nice and tall. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I think. Let's leave the performing to this standout athlete. Amy says her biggest accomplishment so far, performing for the Guilds Club at the Sony Center and for the Starlight Children's Foundation at BCE Place. Actually getting to perform was a huge milestone. I would say that not in my wildest fantasies that I think I'd ever get the chance to perform. So, you know, one day when you get asked to actually represent the school and, you know, do it in front of a crowd, that was pretty thrilling. Congratulations, Amy, you're this week's Athlete of the Week. Yeah. <laughs>